My name is Elizabeth Jimenez, and today we're going to be looking at the components of effective instructional delivery for ELD and SADAI. Our great challenge as educators in the United States is to provide instruction that will help students meet the grade level content standards despite the fact that they may only have a beginning level of English proficiency. Phonemic awareness is one of the best predictors of success with reading. What we're looking at now is a chart to describe the beginning, middle, and ending sounds and whether or not this phoneme appears in English or appears in Spanish in each one of those positions. That can help you as a teacher to choose the kind of work that you're going to do in your classroom or the kind of examples that will help your students to better understand. We're going to now take a look at some students at different proficiency levels in English. And I want you to listen specifically for their vocabulary choices, syntax, fluency, and pronunciation, and then just jot down your observation. It's a little hard for me because I'm, I'm talking English too much. I was almost advanced, so then they jumpy, they jumpy, so things start to be a little hard. I don't understand what she says. Um, so when she writes a, a report, the mm -hmm. teacher, um, well, that helps me understand. She reads it first and models for students, and then they read back in a choral reading. Listen and repeat. Variety. 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 Maps. 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 Yes. Documents. 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 What I want to lay out there for you are a few examples of how uh, culturally relevant education plays in our schools and why it's so important. Some children probably have better support at home and support at home could lead to better results. Well, I think it has to do too with how they're made to feel as they're learning their new language. Students who may have in the past come to school and felt like, I don't really understand what's going on here. As I was growing up, I was always known as Chava, which, you know, as some people know, is a, you know, kind of a nickname for Salvador or Sal. And when I went to uh, public school, the teacher, had, and I came into class and she said, so what do you want to be called, Sal or Salvador? We've seen those kids drop out. We've seen them join gangs. We've seen them take off and go to work instead of going to school. So by incorporating their culture and experiences into what we do, we say that they matter. 